I grew up in Alabama, but I started working in agriculture when I was 19 in North Florida. And I worked in these large wholesale plant nurseries, um, you know, those kind you see on the highway that just go on and on and on. I worked for those companies. And uh, I started working um, as a soil sampler and uh, I eventually worked my way up to a pesticide applicator. This was 20 something years ago in, in North Florida, but I started seeing a little bit of organic produce coming into our grocery stores and I, I would just look at that produce going, you know, what is that? And then I was, suddenly I was buying those vegetables and, and choosing those vegetables over the other ones and, um, but I was coming to work and scheduling fungicide applications. So I tried to choose biologicals and botanicals, but they are just so used to doing that routine spray and just spray it whether it needs it or not that um, I would be be told to, to do fungicide applications. When I worked in North Florida, uh, we used to have a runoff pond and um, every year there were beavers born in this pond with deformed eyes, every single year. You know, almost 20 years later, I'm in Salinas working at another large nursery and um, there was um, a chemical applicator's daughter had um, was was born with a rare type of corneal blindness and um, three months later another lady in a, another greenhouse range had a baby born with the same type of rare corneal blindness and it it just it just completely bottomed me out it wasn't until I really bottomed out um, at my company that I decided I was going to start my own business I saw these old nurseries here in Richmond and I I thought, you know, I could probably afford to rent those. <laughs> so we are a seven acre farm in North Richmond and we have just completely certified it organic. We sell over 400 varieties of vegetables and herbs and we do both seedlings and uh, finished produce. Okay, hold them up. One, two, three. Oh, so it's a summer program. This is our second summer of doing this program. It took three nonprofits to come together. We literally pooled our nickels together and um, we hired kids to come in and work for the summer. I plan to garden for the rest of my life. I like working outdoors and working with the earth and trying to help out the earth too. They taught me how to mostly about planting. It was good for me to just come out here and to learn how to grow your own food. Yeah, keeps me off the street, gets, gets me out of trouble because I wouldn't be in the house all day. So it's just something, it's something that can keep me occupied and it's a summer job that I like to do. Uh, yes, I was picking out the tomato, the, or the Working outdoors with Pilar is great just because, just the energy. Uh, not too many people you work with is going to um, actually wake up happy every morning to do what they love to do, basically, you know. Just working outdoors is the best, pretty much. I hate being in the office. It's all cooped up, so. We got kids that wanted to be here and wanted to continue to be here. And, you know, at the end of the program, nobody wanted to leave. Uh, last summer they had a choice of taking a couple of days off or being at the farm and they chose being at the farm rather than take a day off and uh, that, that means a lot. You know I was kind of a workaholic and I thought that that meant I would be a good great business owner but it's a lot more work than I ever thought it would be, but it's also a, a great lifestyle. I get to be outside and I get to have, I get to build healthy soil and we get to have kids out here. And I'm really proud of that I have a safe and healthy place for my employees and my dog. 